little abnormally tall for this place, though. But good afternoon and evening, everyone. This is uh, Terra Quator. It's Thursday, August 8th, 2024. It's day 221. Oh, yeah! I'm sober. I'm feeling fine. I'm feeling a little bit tall here again. Another world where I'm just a little on the tall side for a few of the awnings. But there isn't a whole lot going on today, just that it's Thursday. And, well, I came to this world to explore and see what it has. And, of course, my finger is doing that thing where it doesn't want to point. Yet again, I'm... See if I can... There we go. There we go. But I'll go ahead and turn this camera off real quick. So we can go over this world. And the world was in trending when I first came across it. But we are in Booth Room by Pix of Ink. So, um... Booth room, new cozy space for you to customize and relax. Yeah, you got to be a little uh, interesting. It, it is a little interesting. Like, um, grabbing this, you can uh, highlight like certain objects like these cups, shirts, or any of those, and you can... Kind of, you know, put your image on it. Let's see if I can get it closer, though. Hang on. There we go. And then say, uh... Yes. <laughs> there you go. So now you've got these cups with all of those on it. And, of course, the sweaters, the hats. It's, it's a little strange, I'll, I'll admit. But, unfortunately, I don't know how to get rid of those. That's what I don't know how to do. And of course, I gotta figure out exactly how I had this originally set up. Let me take a look here. Um, let's see. Okay, what I'm doing right now is I'm just getting myself resituated here, so bear with me. Let's see. If I take you and put you over here, that'll tell me a lot more. Okay, so. About like that was over here. Let's see if I have it right now. Ugh! If I don't trip over my cord, of course. Let's see. Yeah, it was about. Yeah, it was about there. Whatever. But okay, so I can now go over everything that's going on, which is not a lot of the house. Um, Lily is just tired as usual. Uh, they're going. Oh, my goodness, what have I done by putting that image on the. I'm everywhere. <sighs> what have I done? I am everywhere now. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, so. Lilia, Sweet Pea, and Buttercup are going to go over to the grandparents tomorrow to just get out of the house and relax a bit. And, uh, well, that's actually tomorrow's a good day for it because today is still 104 Fahrenheit, so it still sucks outside. I don't want to go anywhere, but lo and behold, I'm probably going to have to at some point. <sighs> I should not be out of, out of breath, but I am. It's probably just because of just boredom and haven't hydrated enough today or something. But, yeah, I don't really want to go anywhere today. I really don't, but tomorrow we might get some respite from these high temperatures. I'm going to grab my phone real quick and then I'll uh, tell you what it says. Just give me a sec. It's over here. Okay, what have we got here? If I can, uh, let's see if I can hold this while holding my, con while my controller's in my hand too. That seems difficult and risky. So, my phone, which is in my physical hand, let's uh, go ahead and says right now at the time of recording is still 102, feels like 106, and the highest temperature is in an hour being 104. Or no, today, like this is the hour it's supposed to be at the highest, so it just went up. It's 103 right now. It'll go up a little bit more, and then at 6 p.m. is when it's supposed to go back down. And then, um, 
daily forecast is what I'm excited about. So tomorrow, Friday the 9th, shows that local area is going to be going to be 92 degrees. Okay. That's awesome. But but Saturday, Saturday, August 10th shows it's going to be 89. That is a huge like a, 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 a 15 degree difference compared to today. You know, 15, 16 degree difference from today on Saturday. I'm excited for that because even seven degrees makes a whole heap of difference. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. I look forward to those temperatures. That'll give me time to, whoops. Uh-oh, what did I do? You know, the only problem with these knuckle controllers is that it seems like you might be able to grab a little extra, but really you can't. <laughs> It makes things a little bit more of an awkward carry. But yeah, so 89 on Saturday, that's that's very exciting. I can get yard work done. I can get a whole lot done and the kids can finally play outside. So we, tomorrow and Saturday are just gonna be really good. I look forward to them. It's unfortunate it couldn't come today on my favorite day of the week, right? Oh, well, you win some, you lose some. It's the best I can say, but I got, I got to figure out what the what the kids and Lily are going to want to eat tonight. I'd like to do something simple because everyone's just, you know, feeling blah. I mean, I feel kind of blah. They feel blah. Sorry. They feel blah. I feel blah. Not a whole lot going on. Sweet Pea is still being a little terror. Um, still getting into the bathroom and Buttercup's room at all times. Normal stuff. But, um... She's doing, she's constantly doing one of the things that parents dread their toddlers doing. Abs like one of those really annoying things. You, you're just so glad you're at home with no guests over. Uh-huh. I don't need to go into details of what it is, but for those who have toddlers or have siblings who have toddlers, maybe you know what I'm talking about. Since not going into specifics. Because if you know, you know, and then you go, oh, I am so sorry. <laughs> but she, well, we're trying to get her out of it. Really, I think what it is is she's just doing it to try getting more attention because she loves the attention. Which is why she grabs at absolutely everything, because it, it's an attention thing. She knows she's getting the attention from it, and the frantic attention means, oh, this must be a game. It's not really a game, Sweet Pea. It's more that you shouldn't be grabbing these things. But here we are, still grabbing at things, you know? But I'm in v while in VR, I'm really comfortable with how close that ceiling is. It's, it's right there. Just looking up, it's just right there. In your, and unfortunately, because of the position where it is, it's just close enough to where it starts to blur. And I know I don't, I don't, I don't really have, uh, uh, who cares? Someone messaged me. What is this now? Let's see. It was my pickles. Oh yes, I, I told a friend about the pickle world I went to went into and she is now very confused. I don't need to go into who that is, but if you know, you know. Who doesn't like pickles? I had a long conversation with a friend from Brazil last night about pickles, because apparently they don't have pickles in Brazil. And I told them the exact brand, if they really want to experience good pickles, never ever buy the gas station bag pickles. Those are disgusting. If you want to buy a brand of pickles, especially, you know, like those, um, franchise chain brands of pickles get Clausen. Clausen pickles are the best pickles you can get because uh they're refrigerate only so when you buy them at the store they're still in the refrigerated section of produce or near dairy dairy like cheese and stuff it's sometimes over there but the refrigerate only and they're so much better because instead of you know bringing your brine to a boil and putting pickle your cucumbers in that it's done cold 
so it keeps more of the um, light green vibrant cucumber in her flesh I know I said inner flesh and he laughed but it, it, it keeps that color and texture so you keep more of the texture of the cucumber you keep a little bit of the flavor of the cucumber it's the best pickled cucumber you can get and I and unless I was the observation that I have to remember that I know a lot more people outside of the United States so I have to be mindful to say pickled cucumber because people hear pickle and it's like well is it pickled cabbage is it pickled beets by the way I do not like pickled beets I do not like pickled beets I like I like grilled beets like you just get like a, a nice um, wood lump coal like just lump coal or wood fire grill and slice slice your beets up and put that on the grill it is amazing that is the best way to have beets but in terms of pickling i've had all kinds of things pickled but i won't do pickled eggs i just don't trust it that's just me though of course i've had pickled sausage and i can definitely say it is an acquired taste because the first time I had it, I nearly vomited. But then a certain brand of pickled sausage at the stores here grew on me just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Not completely. But, yeah, the, um, some pickled sausage are okay. Some really aren't. In fact, I'd say most aren't. I will not do the pickled pig's feet. Nope, I'm not doing that. But... I, my favorite will always be pickled cucumber or just in the America pickles though those are my go-to I'm American what can you what can you expect but it has to be a good pickle Clausen is far far better than Vlasic kosher dill far better that cold that cold brine or the cold brining process so much better it only takes 48 hours in a cold brining process rather than one week plus with the boiled brine I uh, I've made I've made pickled cucumbers, so I kind of know what I'm talking about here. Just just kind of, I'm no pro, but I I prefer the Clausen style or Clausen, whatever. So I explained that to him, and I went we went on for pro I'm gonna say like two hours about pickles. It was a lot of fun. So it's like really eye opening just how American pickled cucumbers are. I know I've had. One of my, my second favorite after pickled cucumber is uh, pickled cabbage or, you know, sauerkraut. That's my second favorite. I love to have that on a hot dog or a really good uh, bratwurst. Bratwurst, definitely. It's got to have sauerkraut and black pepper on there. Sometimes some stone ground mustard. Sometimes. So, yeah, that's some, some pretty good stuff, too. But I really can't really keep this one too long. At the time of recording, it's 5.14 p.m., so I need to start worrying about what I'm going to make for the kids because that time's coming up. And we... I, I really need to get Buttercup to stop staying up so late at night. And it's been a challenge because she looks for every excuse possible to get out of, to get out of bed. I know this pattern because I did that as a kid too and it never worked. So... She's got to start getting to bed early so she doesn't start missing school because that's in a week and a half. That's coming up. So, got to prep for that. Got to make sure everything's ready for when they go over to the grandparents tomorrow, which will be great for them. Yeah, it might be good for me. I'll see if I can get some work done here. But, yeah, there's quite a bit I still need to do. But, yeah, I'm, I'm glad y'all stopped by. Had this little chat... But I do need to get going, so I want everyone to take care of yourselves. Enjoy your Thursday, because it is, indeed, it is still day 221 on Thursday, August 8th, 2024. We'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs>